What are you two? Next up, we got DJ Ghost. Let's get it. So look, man. So look, so look, so look, so look, so look. I just posted a video yesterday at uh, DJ Ghost uh, uh, with the Charleston White. It was like a, he did like a month, a month, a month ago. But I, I, I was looking at these comments. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me read one comment. I'm gonna read one comment. One comment. I'm gonna read one comment. All right. So I'm gonna read the comments. So, um, I had a comment said. Uh, I had I had somebody said. Uh, this dude react. This dude react to a reaction. My boy, you is not making it out. I had I had somebody else say, "Late as fuck." But then I had a couple. I had a couple good comments. You know what I'm saying. I had a couple. You know what I'm saying. I fuck. I fuck with. The, I fuck with that. Keep doing what you're doing. Grinding. Um. So I'm gonna just tell y'all this, man. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell y'all this story one more time. I love DJ Ghost. Um, I actually just looked up. This nigga got three channels. This nigga is getting a big fucking bag. He got the family channel. He got the DJ Ghost. He got the DJ podcast. He getting a big ass bag. I, I, I don't like, I, I'm not checking this man's pockets though. I just want to. This is my best just to DJ Ghost and to, and, to, and to his fans, to his supporters. I am not trying to be DJ Ghost. My goal is to beat DJ Ghost. My goal is to go. I don't know if he, I think he lives in California. My, my goal is to do a, a, a podcast or do, a, do some reactions with him. I was watching DJ Ghost because I was like, where y'all think, think I get this from? Next up, where y'all think I get that from? DJ Ghost. I'm not copying him, I'm just modeling him. I've been watching DJ Ghost since I was little, bro. Like, really, really little. Like, I've been watching him since I was like, like a youngin'. Like, I told myself, I said, once I become a YouTuber, once I, and I'm taking this shit serious now, Bro, I, and I just, bro, I just seen this man crib. I was going through his channel. I went to his, his family. He got a, he got a, y'all look, look on his family. Uh, he got a family channel too. I'm looking at this nigga house. And I said, damn. In my head, I'm like, damn, you can get all of this just by being a YouTuber and staying consistent with YouTube and posting videos. Wow. Bro, fat ass crib. Fat whips, smoking the best gas, and that's what I really want to do, man. I, I, I'm not smoking now because you know I, I'm about to grind right now. I told myself, told myself once I start, once I hit like, don't get me wrong, I love smoking weed, but I'm just not doing it right now because I'm, I'm grinding on YouTube. I'm, I'm so dedicated to YouTube and shit like that. But I ain't gonna hold you no longer, man. We finna get right to the video. But last thing I just want to say is, shout out DJ Ghost, man. If you're not inspiring a lot of people to do YouTube, well, you sleeping. You sleeping, bro. You gotta wake up, get out the matrix, wake up and work. I've been posting every, like, for the last week now, I've been doing five videos, and I'm not stopping. I'm, I'm not stopping until I hit a million subscribers, bro. I'm going hard. I'm a red, I'm a red pill nigga. I ain't no blue pill nigga. I'm about to rid it up, for real. And, uh, but yeah, but shout out DJ Ghost, man. Let's get right to the video. Um, this is. Uh, this this is him. He did a reaction to uh, I'm, I'm reacting to him. Me, Shark, the man that started pimping at 14. So I guess we finna react to a guy. We finna react to DJ Ghost talking about a guy that was pimping at 14. So yeah, and make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, let's get to the video. Let's get it, bro. Um, y'all know I had to bring it back with one of these underbelly interviews. The last one was dope. I still ain't contacted. Um. My guy, man. Uh, 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 Wakanda forever. What's <laughs> no, I still ain't contacted him. And, uh, I want to do that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not, not for content. So if I do do it, the only way y'all will know is when I tell y'all, like, hey, I linked up with Little Jungle Boy, whatever the case, we chopped it up. But as far as content go, I think he already put everything out. If we was to do some content, I want to be the executive producer to the movie. I want to be the top, like the head. I will fund the movie. I will get get somebody to act it. Oh, I am not lying. 
I will find somebody cold to act his part, you know what I'm saying? But um, this one right here, we got Sharp from the No Jumper podcast. And to keep it real, when it comes to Sharp, just a couple months ago, I think he been at No Jumper, no Jumper for like, what, a year, year and a half or something like that, two years. I'm just not finding out bro is a pimp like four, five months ago from all these interviews going viral, you know what I'm saying? I always- This nigga was a pimp. It said this nigga was a pimp at 14. Thought he was just like, just like some hood, like a gangster from Cali or something like that. But I'm not finna hold y'all no longer. I'm ready for it, I hope y'all ready for it. This is uh, this is Sharp for No Jumper. I got into the ism, man, when I was 14, 15 years old. So this shark, this shark. And look, this video 41 minutes long. Y'all know I'm not doing the whole video, bro. I'm, I'm gonna do like 15, 16 minutes max. I'm gonna put the link in the description. You know, young, you know, if I grew up around. What is trying to say, shark? A lot of y'all know already, but when he talk about ism, when he say ism, he talking about pimping, you know what I'm saying? When you got, all right, if you growing up in LA, if you grew up in LA, gang banging is gonna be the first thing that you actually, I'm gonna keep it real, if you grew up in the hood that you actually fall in love with, cause gang banging look dope as a youngin. They got all the females, they all wearing the same color. Not today, but back then that's how it was. Everybody got on their chucks, you wanna be that. But then you got places like Oakland to where they groom you. Since a young gonna be a, like a little pimp, you know what I'm saying? I don't know where it's short from. I'm just giving y'all an example on certain places, just like Boston. When you, if you grew up in uh, Charleston, up in Boston, you don't grow up to be a gangster. You don't grow up to be a pimp. By the time you 12 years old, you find out that your big brother, your daddy, your uncle, your great granddaddy, they all hit banks. When it comes to Charlestown or Charleston, whatever you call it up in, uh, up in Boston, that's Bank Lick Central. Think I'm lying. Look it up. Look it up. Around you, your standard pimps and drug dealers and prostitutes and crackheads and, you know, your everyday model of fucked up society, you know? All right, Sharp. Sharp, uh, where are you from? Where did you grow up? I was born in Detroit, Michigan. I moved to the West Coast, Las Vegas, Vegas when Detroit, I was two. Too. Uh, never saw the Midwest ever again after that. Uh, in Vegas. Grew up in Las Vegas a bit, went to school. You know, typical American fucked up dream. I did not know that. I did not know that. Las Vegas, I was just gonna say before I paused it, uh, when he said American dream. Las Vegas, especially people from California, in like the early 2000s, mid 2000s. I ain't never been to Las Vegas. Once I go to Las Vegas, y'all know I'm vlogging. Y'all know I'm doing my thing. So this year, um, uh, I'm going to I'm going to go to Miami. Uh, I'm gonna go to uh, I'm going to Los Angeles. Uh, where I'm gonna go? I'm gonna go to Chicago. I'm, I'm gonna vlog out there too. It's a couple of states over here. I'm gonna tap in with you guys. It was like you go to Las Vegas, the rent is cheaper. You can get a job out there. Your kids can grow up not in gang bang society or whatever the case, that environment. And it was fast for a minute. But like I said, everybody from LA, everybody from California, Oakland, San Francisco, the Valley, up, the IE, whatever, they all adapted to that. And they all got win at Las Vegas was cheap. And so with that happening, you come to Las Vegas. And you got every type of person up in LA and Las Vegas, and it just don't look bad, bro. I mean, I said it don't look bad. It don't look good. I'm keeping it real. You will have you a shooting out here. The police pull up in another state. I think I think Vegas and probably Arizona is the only Nevada and Arizona, bro. I think they are the only two states to where it can be a shootout in that state, right? Police get over there, find out it's two LA fools shooting at each other. Y'all both not from out here. How did y'all even run into each other? Why? Because it's like gumbo. You know what I'm saying? Any given apartment building up in Vegas, I promise you on my kids. Any given apartment building. And when I say given, you can just, this one I have it, this might. This one I have it, this might. Any apartment building gonna have 
bloods in there, hoovers, bounty hunters, uh, uh, neighborhoods, gangster core. You're going to have all type up in Vegas, bro. The whole complex. Damn, that's crazy. When I go, when I go to Los Angeles, when I go to Vegas, I'm not going to be, I'm going to try to drive around the hood, but I ain't going to be, like, I'm going to just, I ain't going to drive, I'm going to just see how it is, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm really just going to be out there just, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, I'm going to be like, casino, I'm, I'm going to be that way. <laughs> just like gumbo. A little bit of everybody. That's why I be so much cracking out here. You know, same shit, different so day. You know, average day. shit. Uh, then I start, uh, start going to San Diego, man, real heavy when I was about 12, 13. With a lot of my friends, man, we always go, you know, family members or whatnot, a lot of friends and, sh you know, shit like that. You know, it's always been my thing. You know, how was, was your family? Huh? How was your family? How was my family? You had both your parents? Nah, man. I think that's what, uh, I think that's, you know, that's what really go on in today's world, man, is, you know, you don't always have both your parents, you know, and you can't really blame them, you know, for not being there. So, you know, I just, I just keep it moving in my life, man. You know, I never really had, my mom, my mom was there. That's how I felt about my pops. You can't really blame them. And I felt like you can't really blame them until I was like 14, 13, 14. Facts, facts, facts. Save me too, like, I ain't never met my real father, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. Uh, thank God, you know, I, I, my mama, you know what I'm saying? Man, my mama, our relationship is okay. It can be a little better. Um, you know, I, I, I have children, so I would never leave my, my children lives, you know what I'm saying? Um, I ain't, it, that, that's tough because I ain't never, I have never ever. Last time I asked my mama about my, my real, my last year's dad, she said that he was. He 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 was in the uh, last time like they were really, like, they was in the band chips like this so he probably rich as hell I don't know if he is but <laughs> I don't know um, that's why it's in my blood I probably got some of his DNA to go to the next level he probably rich as hell and God just probably said all right once you get rich as hell you gonna beat beat your rich dad I don't know I don't know what he doing right now I don't know maybe one one of these years I probably see him but. I'm not too really focused on it. I focus on my children, cause I know I have to be in their lives. I will never leave their lives ever, never. And yeah, that's tough though. That's tough, super tough. Because I didn't understand what he was. I knew he went to prison. I knew he went to prison for murder. But my whole thing was like, bro, you know, you know, you had a son. Why did you do that type? That's how I was feeling as a youngin, as a preteen, sixth grade, fifth grade type. But once I became a teenager, bro, I understood it fully. I understood it fully. He was gang banging. You know, it's it's the streets of LA is crazy, you know what I'm saying? And he caught him a case. I just look at it, it was either my pops or him, and my pops prevailed. I try to look at the good side of it, you know what I'm saying? Bro is so right. She met a boyfriend, she ran out, she was gone. Went and had another baby, and you know, and that was all they ever wrote for that white horse. When did you first start working as a pimp? Said you it don't again. work as a pimp. When, when, did, when did you start working as a pimp? When did you become a pimp? When you start pimping? I got into the ism, man, when, when I was working. 14, 15 years old. You know, young. You know, I grew up around you, your standard pimps and drug dealers and prostitutes and crackheads and, you know, your everyday model of fucked up society. And we talk, he talk about real pimps, not you fools out there that got you a little female that'll do anything for you. She'll go out there and try to get you some money. Not you fools that send a female out there, then you get her pregnant. You know what I'm saying? He talking about real pimps that he was following. I did not know Sharp was in it like this. I did not know. And now it all makes sense, for real. Like I said, I found out when he started going viral over his interviews like four or five months ago. Like, I catch I catch YouTube videos, I do. My number one genre on YouTube is boxing, and I catch up on like some podcasts, Nori, Breakfast Club, and Vlad, No Jumper. I just don't search for it all the time like that. But when you got, the shark was about to beat up, uh. What's the little square name that be pipping? And then it was like, dang, how this drop yesterday? It got 1.7 million views. I'm on that. Damn. <laughs> when... Swear to God. 
And he don't like DJ Ghost. They niggas be holding with the videos, bro. Shut up, DJ Ghost, though. Shut up, DJ Ghost. W, DJ. Viral for a reason, you know what I'm saying? But anything else, bro, it's no disrespect to nobody, but I don't check up on fools all the time doing their jobs, you know what I'm saying? You do your job, that's what you're supposed to do, but respect to you, I respect you for doing your job, just like I don't respect, I mean, I don't expect nobody to just watch my shit all day when he a YouTuber doing the same thing I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? But sharp dope to me, though. Bro, 100 to me. You know, so I always wanted something different, man. You know, I, I was a kid, every, every kid had a dream, you know? Want to be a baseball player, football player, a doctor, a gangster. you know? Yeah. Always want to be some shit like that. Who has it, man? You want to grow up and be anything you want to be. Well, you know, by the time I hit probably about 12 or 13, I started noticing, man, that that dream was going to fade real quick because of my surroundings, right. you know, not having certain opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, other kids might have been as, you know, fortunate. You know, uh... Hey, I felt that too. That's why I'm going so hard on YouTube. That's why I'm going so hard on my business because when my kids get like 13, 14, I want them, because all my children, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this again, my children is going to the NBA. I promise you. They are going to the league. And, um... Uh, I don't want to even mention Play B. I got Play B, but I'm gonna focus on Play A. Play A, my kids go to the league. That's the that's the that's the goal. But I still wanted the money, man. I still wanted. I still felt rich. You know. Even though I'm living in a fucked up environment, I'm living around shit that you know. Hey, nobody's really that fortunate, man. We're all in the same boat, trying to get out. You know, all a bunch of crabs in a bucket, trying to crawl out, man, and get out. You know. And I always felt different than everybody else, man. Right. You know, I did different things. I, I moved. How he said you got to be like, you wasn't fortunate like everybody else. This is why I go so hard for like minorities, people that live in poverty, blacks, Mexicans, for the simple fact that society as a whole will bash them. You know what I'm saying? You will have somebody that's 13 years old. Like, I was influenced heavy by uh, by gang banging by like 10 or 11 years old, you know what I'm saying? But you could have somebody that's 13 years old start gang banging. He getting hood tattoos. 15 years old now, he getting one on the back of his head. 17 years old, he getting one on his face. And so by the time he turned 21, people, society will look at him, not mess with him. You got all his tattoos, they stereotype him, I'm gonna be 100. No matter how good of a person he is on the inside, society don't care because look at your face. Look at all these tattoos, look how you walk, look how you dress. And people got to understand, all that happened as a youngin' when you're a kid. When that's all you see, bro, and that's all you know, and you do get tatted at 13, that's because you are in your environment. If you grew up in a neighborhood where everybody is doctors, you've never seen gangbanging in your life, your brother's a doctor, your mama's a doctor, your daddy, you, you know what I'm saying? That's all you see, that's all you know, you're going to become that. You're going to strive to be that, that's your environment. You're not finna all of a sudden want to be uh, from uh, 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 Pablo Escobar or <laughs> El Chapo Cartel, bro. That don't even mix. You ain't even gonna have that in your mind. It just when people say they're a product of their environment, that's really that. They're a product of their that's environment. He was a little kid when he did this. You don't have opportunities, bro. And when you a kid, you don't think about life as you 13 and think about life, what it's gonna be like at 27, 28. You trying to get by, bro. You trying to get you some money to get you some shoes. You want to talk to girls on the phone all night. You want to gang bang with the homies. Like, give him a chance. He was 13 and he from this environment. Just like y'all give somebody a chance if they was 13 living up in Calabasas in the gated neighborhood. You got to give these people a chance. Give my people a chance. Different, you know. I didn't want to do what everybody else was doing. You know, I kind of stayed to myself, you know. All, I messed with a lot of broads when I was coming up. You know, I always had a bunch of females, you know, as friends as a kid, you know, young. You know, from first grade on up, uh, I've been having girlfriends. I was never scared of girls. I was never a, a boy like that to where I, you know, ew, get away from me. I don't want to go over there. None of that. You know, I've always loved them you and shit. They love them. me. Do you have sisters? Mm -hmm. Did you have sisters? I had a couple, but I don't know them. Oh, okay. Mm. I mean, did you feel you, you were destined for, for something greater sisters. than everyone else around you? Yeah. And that's why I think, you know, I picked up what I picked up. Shit, man, the game found me. 
you know? I didn't find the game. The game found me, man. It's not for everybody, you know? And there's definitely no gray areas. Hmm. Like this skid row is a bunch of them, you know? It's not, it's not none of that, man. How did, how did it begin for you? How did it start? Your first girl. Get into it. Yeah, into it sure. I was a kid, man. I was young. She shit, was, my first girl, she man, was shit, she's 26 years old. Four. She need to be in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I thought. <laughs> this nigga said she should be in jail. It all work like that, DJ goes. It's only the opposite. Now, if he was 26, Mexican messing with a 13 year old. It's always, you know, it's, it's always different from like that. A guy can say, call the police and say, hey, this girl just raped me. And he posted it. It would not get no views. And we got, it, that shit would, if a girl say, hey, this 26 year old trying to talk to me, trying to rape, it's gonna go viral. It's always like that. It's a woman, it's just, so what was state like like with shit like that? It's, it's fucked up, but it's crazy. He had some little 14-year-old out there, 15, 16-year-old, 